everyone, it's Amy, owner and curator of Yo So Boho. Welcome back to my channel and to another Thursday night thrift adventure. Tonight, I am going to spotlight two places right around the Ashtabula Harbor area in Ashtabula, Ohio. Um, my hair artist, Brian, actually has a studio right near there. And I met my mom after my hair appointment at a place called Fat Sally's. So we're gonna talk about a few things that I got from Fat Sally's. I did not record in there. Um, and then we are going to go shopping at the Goodwill. I did record there. And so I'll show you some things that I got at that place too. But let's start with the things that I picked up at Fat Sally's. Now Fat Sally's has been there for, I wanna say a couple of years. I was there pre-pandemic, I believe, and it didn't have as much stuff there. Now, the downstairs, I think, is owned by the people who run the place. Um, they have their merchandise there, and I think that the upstairs is um, all vendor boots. They split it up into vendor boots. It's really nice. There's probably about 12 of them up there, and they have everything from, like, antique stuff, vintage stuff, to, like, craft stuff, but um, it's very cool. If you're in the area, check it out. The first thing I picked up was upstairs from one of the vendor boots, and it is this beautiful uranium glass flower frog now i have been looking for one of these and if you've watched my channel for a while you know this <laughs> i always run into the clear ones but i keep saying i'm gonna run into a uranium glass one at some point and i finally did and i was happy about that i only paid six dollars for it which is a great price and i don't even have to bring out the black light because you can see here it is a glower that's just from the light coming in the window right there it's like literally glowing in my hand so great little find. If I was to sell this, probably 18 to $20 for this little piece. Um, but no, it's going into my collection. The next thing I found was just unusual enough to pique my interest. And I did pay $8 for this piece, but it is a Czechoslovakian made creamer pitcher. Y'all know I have a thing. I don't know what's wrong with me, but <laughs> I love pictures and things where the, the fluid comes out of a mouth or a beak in this case. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I have a nice little collection of Royal Beirut um, creamers and they're all like this figural animal kind of thing. And that's what really drew me to this one. It does not match my collection, so I'm considering letting this one go. I think $8 was still a really good price on this. Let me show you the mark. If you're looking for Czech pottery, it would help to see that. But for $8, I think I could probably double my money, um, or maybe a little bit better. Maybe maybe this is again in that like $18 to $20 range. Um, I'll have to do a little bit more research. I have not initially found him anywhere. And that was frustrating even while I was there. I was trying to look him up like, he's cool, but yeah, is he worth anything? <laughs> I love the paint on him. It's really great and he's in beautiful condition. So I don't know if he'll go over to the booth or he might just be odd enough to sell well on eBay. Uh, maybe I'll start him there. The last thing that I got there will not surprise you. <laughs> If you watch me, it is two little deer. Here's the first one. He's laying down. Actually, they're both laying down. Here's the second one. They're so cute. They're just little fawns. I love them. They're really nicely done. They are not marked. They almost feel like they could be a hobbyist piece but I'm not sure. There's, you know, they're just super cute. This one is damaged. It has a little chip tail and they just went ahead and put a little bit of color right there, which was smart because to tell you the truth, I didn't even notice that when I picked them up, but that's okay. I paid $5 for them. So for $5 to go into my little deer collection, I think that's fine. Like I said, the next stop was like down the hill into the Ashtabula Harbor. If you have not been to the Ashtabula Harbor, 
take time to go there if you're in the area it is really nice there are some good restaurants there there's great shopping there's a chocolate place i can't remember the name of it but i'll share it here um it's just a really great like way to spend a day it's one of those old areas where you can park at one end and kind of walk down and walk back um do a little bit of sightseeing and window shopping um it's just it's cool the Goodwill in the Ashtabula Harbor is cool. It literally, when you park, you're looking at the harbor, which is nice. And I always manage to find some good stuff there. So without further ado, let's go shopping. Here we're entering the back part of this Goodwill. This is usually where I find all the hard goods. They have moved this store around quite a bit. So there are some hard goods out in the front area. But I had been through there and didn't really see anything, so decided to turn on the camera right here before I entered this area. Oh, I love this little strawberry, and I'm not sure why I left this behind. Maybe I didn't feel like it was worth the price. That is a little steep. When something's like 3 or $4 and it's like that, and I know it's only going to command maybe, you know, 10 or 12 it's just not worth the pickup. So sometimes I have to leave those behind, even if I do think they're adorable. Those were kind of cool, but the rose gold is a little out of trend right now. If those were silver, I may have grabbed them depending on the price. Oh yeah, the corn dishes. This is interesting. Um, these weren't aren't worth a lot of money. Um, they had $3.99 for that stack, which was a good deal, but maybe not for this set. But as I was recording and doing a little research here, I looked up corn dishes like that, and they do sell pretty well. And I pass up quite a few of them. So I'll be looking at those a little, um, little more now that I know that um, it looks like sets of four, um, depending on the maker, usually sell in the $20 to $25 range. So um, that was a little surprising. Checking out the clear glass here and that um, what looked like a recycled glass platter up there was kind of cool. And some more clear glass here, but of course I'm going over here to check out these cows. <laughs> they had $5.99 on this set and this pretty lady was missing a lid, so I had to pass. Even if she had the lid, um, probably maybe a $12 to $15 set there. And this set back here was beautiful. I'm guessing I spotted something right away that made me not even look at the price. So probably a chip or a crack. That's something to keep in mind. If I don't pull something to check on a price, that's usually indicative of me seeing something with an issue right away. These were pretty. There were a couple of these here. Just loved that flower, although I wonder where their saucers went. This is cute. They had a few um, like soup bowls kind of in with the mugs, and one of them here is a brown drip. You may have already seen it, but of course I'll have to check that one out. I want to say it was marked just USA. So I'm not 100% on the maker there. Could be. I don't think it's dark enough for false graph. Probably would have been marked false graph. It's probably either a McCoy or a Robinson Rand's bottom. These were cool. It said Carlsberg beer on it. They were really well made. I did not look those up. Um, of course, I will hear. <laughs> I was worried with all four of those on that rack. I thought, man, if those, they were heavy. If those took down that hook, everything below them was doomed. <laughs> and here we are in the Christmas stuff. They always have holiday stuff, Christmas stuff in this area. And uh, I don't know what it is. I know a lot of people, especially in July with like Christmas in July, you know, they start looking at Christmas stuff. Um, I am one of those people who, like, I wish it would just kind of remain a end-of-year thing. I know, I know that's probably an unpopular opinion. <laughs> I do look at it, I do, but it's kind of like, well, I guess I'll look at the Christmas stuff. <laughs> this Paddington bear was so cute. 
I want to say they had, um, I don't know, somewhere between four and six dollars on his price sticker. And he's just not worth that kind of money, but man, was he cute. Oh, I should have checked out that little Christmas tree stained glass there. This was a weird wobbly sweater tree. <laughs> Now we're over in the art area. I spotted this. I really liked this. I loved that it had kind of this gold foil in the background and how the art, like the birds and the flowers, just popped off of that. I thought it was really pretty. The back was a mess, but who looks at the back when it's hanging on a wall, right? <laughs> I did pass up on this, but if there was maybe a couple of these, I would have looked at them um, seriously and possibly taken them. I have a gallery wall um, in our new booth, and so I'm looking at art uh, more closely now that I have a place to really highlight it. I want to kind of stick to like real quality or original art um, in our booth. Or maybe cruel work or paint by numbers. Those would be okay. This is actually a cruel work and it was really neat. However, it was not, it really needed a frame. It was kind of falling apart. And if you notice there in the sky, what looks like clouds is actually like dried glue. So I'm not sure what it was missing, but it definitely needed some help. And this was a piece too that was done um, with fabric. That's like a cross stitch piece. Mom was showing me that pretty flower piece, and then I noticed these, which looked original, but I'm not sure. They were just some matted. I want to say this one here was a print. The other one may have been original. I know we did get the loop out after we looked through some stuff, but they were neat. They were definitely neat. Yeah, that one even had a little copyright, so you can see that's a print. And then Mom put the flower back, but that was so cool. And I don't know if I actually checked that out. <laughs> this is a fun piece. It was likely just a print or a poster that they put behind that glass. And then this piece is like a sampler, but this is a newer, like 1970s pattern. I uh, recognize that from other pieces that I've found. There's an aisle here with some kind of more shallow shelves. And we're taking a look at the stuff here. These little music boxes were cute. Probably made in Japan. They both did that little spinning thing. I didn't check to see if they worked. The first one was uh, $3.99, I think, and it was just a little too much. I was showing my mom. <laughs> I see those candle holders all the time with the same dog like around in a circle. Oh, look at that cute guy. <laughs> there was some issues with him, but he was cute. Some more party light. And then this is a Lennox piece. Um, I obviously wasn't interested in that. <laughs> Around the corner to another one of these. Looks like they're trying to dress up the place with some end caps. Oh, I see brass. Mom found some little brass pieces. That looks like maybe a candle snuffer. Yep. A couple of uh, short candlestick holders and then an angel candle snuffer. I passed on those. We did like those um, candle holders down there with the twisted. Yeah, these. These were nice. And they were a nice quality, kind of heavy. I'm not seeing a price sticker. No prices. Oh, oh. set of four for four ninety nine. That was a really good price. I think I uh I think I passed on it, left those for someone else. I've currently got some brass candlesticks listed. So I think I just wasn't interested in taking any more on. And those, although they were brass looking, 
<laughs> they were very light. So they were some sort of wall decor. Oh, I found these little habitats without their little critters at a Goodwill here in Akron. And I remember um, looking them up to try and figure out what they were. Now, these guys had their critters, but at $5.99, there's just no room there. So I had already known by, by my previous lookup that there was no room. And then mom has to show me little things in little bags. <laughs> I don't know if you'll recall, but around Christmas time, um, and I'll link the video, we found the most amazing things in little bags here. Every time we turned around, there was something really cool in a little bag. And I, I remember unpacking all those little minis. Oh, and then I spot this guy. And this guy is the first thing that really caught my eye. And for $3.99, I decided, yeah, he can come home with me. This is a nice little pottery jug. I love the drip glaze on here. Now, you know this girl is a brown drip girl, but this green with this little bit of like foamy turquoise, is really nice and I think this will catch somebody's eye I'm gonna say this is probably headed to the booth I paid $3.99 for it and I'm gonna say it's probably a $20 bill it's uh, it's close it's got a really neat appearance and I think with the cork in it and everything I wonder what's in here. I hope it doesn't smell. Nope, empty. No surprises, sometimes that's a good thing. <laughs> I spotted this cute bear, it was a bank. He had some condition issues and he was a hobbyist piece, so I left him and this guy He's a big ceramic dog, but again, it wasn't too exciting. And I like this one. This one was a chalkware piece. They had three dollars on this. This possibly was a carnival prize. Um, I think I was checking to see if, in fact, he was chalkware. I usually tap on them. Sometimes I use my teeth. <laughs> like my teeth can tell if I if I kind of touch something with my tooth I'm like oh yep that's ceramic oh yep that's chalkware <laughs> oh yep that's wood <laughs> don't do that that's not good <laughs> oh camera's going a little haywire let's go somewhere else oh isn't this cool this is an old Holly Hobby desk. Now, the condition was troubling. Look at all the water damage, but man, did this take me back into the 70s. I would have loved to have had a desk like this when I was little. It was like a little vanity desk with your own mirror and the little bench matched. So cute. Here we're out at the front of the store and I'm looking through some wallets and some little kind of clutches and stuff. And then I spotted this guy. What? What? What is this? A little beaded squirrel coin purse? Yeah, you know I grabbed him. I could not pass this little guy up. He's so cute. Just a little coin purse fit in your, you know, your purse. It looks like maybe a couple of beads are coming loose here, but not, I mean, they're still attached. So maybe I can just tighten them up a little bit. This little guy made me think of Natisha, Fifth Avenue Vintage Co. Her spirit animal is a squirrel. Look at, he's even got a little nut. He's so cute. And they had $1.99 on him. So I don't know. He might need to take a trip to uh, Canada. 
I could do this. Natisha, if I send him to you, you could complete this part of the video. I'll hand him up and you could grab him down. <laughs> He is, he is super cute. He's not that old. I wish he was vintage. I don't think he has that much age, but look at all that beadwork. That's super fancy. If you pulled that out for your quarter, you would be something, something. But yeah, he might have to do a little bit of traveling. Um, he might have to do a little traveling. So here we are with our stuff going to the cash register. Mom got clothes. I got clothes and a couple of cute little things. It was a good trip. Last you saw on that cart were clothes. So I got super lucky. Someone my size donated a ton of LuLaRoe. These clothes are not inexpensive. This is a cardigan with pockets. It's super soft. Um, I'll have to see if I can get the name, if I can look up the name of this piece, I will share it below. Not cheap, like I said, I paid $2.99 for this, this piece, which was a huge, huge find. I also paid, I wanna say $6 for this piece. This is actually a dress. I'm not gonna get up, but you'll just have to trust me. <laughs> it's what they call the Carly dress, but this is in a really stretchy, soft material that I love. And by the way, this necklace is for sale on my website. <laughs> I love sometimes when I do these videos, I go over to my rack and I pick something off. This is a vintage piece. It's actually, I wanna say, broken like these two pieces here on both sides it's like an acrylic or something i think they broke but it makes it a little bit more flexible to wear on your neck if you don't know that it was broke you don't know right i think it looks fantastic especially with this little ensemble here <laughs> so no i won't keep it it will still be uh, for sale on my website if you're interested you can go find it there but it is really nice I'm digging it. I'm digging it with this uh, with this little cardigan. I found two other shirts. One was also a LuLaRoe. It is black and it is called the Perfect Tee. I want to say they sell for about $36. Um, that one was $2.99. And then I got a like camping. It's like the perfect camping shirt. It's long sleeve, but it's a lightweight t-shirt. And it's like a baseball tee. So the arms are like a beige and the rest of it's like a camo, like camouflage. Like you can't see me, I'm in the woods, kind of get up. <laughs> so four, four things for my wardrobe and a couple of little things. And that was it for that haul. Not a huge big um, haul for me, but we did see some cool stuff and I hope you enjoyed the shop along. And I hope you will come back next week if you are still here with me and you have not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot. Hit that little alarm button, just click it twice and then you'll know when I put up a new video. And then do me a favor, click one of the like or dislike buttons down there. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Um, leave me a comment below. Tell me if there was something that I grabbed that you were like excited about or just say hello and then share my channel out if you can because it'll help me grow. And this Yoso Boho community that we're building is awesome. I'm making such great friends and I appreciate you all. And I will see you next week. All right, bye.